I'm going to share with you how I do it. And it might not be the way, it might not be good for you. Because everybody has their own character and personality and the way they come across with people. So, uh, so I usually come across like a freaking Joey Bag of Donuts. And I say, hey, if you don't book me, you're freaking dead. But anyways, uh, but what I do do is, uh, well, the first step, see, I guess there's a couple things we need to clarify here, is that, uh, well, the new guys, you guys, you guys that haven't really booked, or you maybe booked one or two gigs, and I get that, you know, you got to start somewhere, uh, best thing to do is go to the venues that you want to book at, coffee shop, get out there and, uh, and talk and chat with people and be friendly or whatever um, and uh, you know don't come across intimidating or with an ego or anything like that if you have an ego leave it at the freaking door don't bring it with you and that goes with for anything even doing a show or whatever I mean you know we all have egos right but and there's nothing wrong with that but healthy egos but uh, anybody has like a big overbearing ego and they just think their shit doesn't stink, good luck to you. you know? um, anyway, so, but I say this, um, what I do is, is I, uh, when I first started out doing it, of course I had a lot of contacts because I was in a band, a Jeffrey James Tawani Gang, and we toured all over the region stuff like that so uh, I already had contacts and so when I told them I was doing solo uh, you know they were just like okay cool so I kind of I kind of had it a little bit easy but once I got on the road uh, and touring with other little towns and me and my girl and the animals we go tour a little bit um, yeah uh, it's like starting over, man. You've got to go in there. And what I do is I go into these places and I ask to speak to either management or whoever's in charge of booking. Usually it'll be management or owners. And uh, so whoever it is, uh, you want to ask to talk to them because you're kind of spinning your wheels by leaving. Man, I hope this comes out because the wind is starting to blow. coming in it's kind of a high tide right now you can see in the canal which goes out to the harbor there but anyway so yeah I just go in there and uh, you're starting over be humble and say hey listen you know this is what I do I'm a solo artist and, uh, and uh, but what I really kind of do is when I have to work people and just you know and they're not sure or I've never had entertainment here before but I was considering it you never know what they're gonna say to you or things are slow, we can't afford to pay anybody or whatever, then you just keep moving on or whatever because you don't want to do it for free. When you go in and talk to these people, whether it's owners or a uh, manager to the restaurant and bar or whatever it is, just you want to come across, humble yourself, come across nice and, and, and just tell them what you got. Uh, you want to have a promo pack a uh, physical promo pack if they're not into emailing or anything like that. Uh, a press kit, whatever you guys call them out there. I don't know what you call them, but I have a bio sheet. I, it's just a one sheet, and then the back of it, uh, I have uh, maybe a hundred songs in smaller print of a kind of what I do. Uh, and then, uh, but now these days everybody has emails, so you can send them. Um, uh, that way you can send them your package and just do it that way. Just send them and send them the links to your live things. If you've seen on this channel um, that what I what I have is, uh, you know, I've got links on there to the, some of the live shows I did. So just put a little uh, pieces of highlights, little, little video clips, nothing major, you know, only a few minutes long and uh, of good stuff of what you do and uh, your favorite songs that you enjoy doing on stage because usually those songs come across better 
So yeah, just do that and uh, send them the links to their email. But for the most part, they will have emails. And, uh, and so that's what you do. Just say, hey, uh, talk to the owner, whoever is in charge of booking. Or, uh, or another thing is too, say you talk to a hostess or whatever. Say, is there any way I can get an email it's all about email get that email and then you can send your links and send your bio sheet just all electronically right do it all the email uh yeah just do that and then when you talk to these people if you talk to somebody that actually has the call to hire um uh, what i do and this might not be for everybody i just make them sound like freaking after they've seen my links and this that and the other and they've read my bio and my background and all that stuff if they even have read it i just make them sound i try to make it sound like total idiots if they don't book you but in the nicest precious way <laughs> i don't know what else to say because you have to be assertive, man. You gotta let you gotta you know you're selling yourself, so you gotta get out there. And, and I, I'm the worst at it, actually. I mean, I've gotten better, obviously, over the years, but I make them sound. In some situations, it depends on what the situation. It, I just make them sound like dumbasses if you don't hire me. Because, I, and I let them know too. And this is a good thing to remember: is that. You know, when people go out to eat, it's a special time for them, whether it's family, friends, whatever. You, you usually, it's, you know, breaking bread is, it, it's a special, uh, almost a holy thing, right? So when you're out there, you, when you're, uh, you let them know that, listen, you obviously their food is good and it's gonna leave a mark on them, right? But you wanna leave, I, I usually tell the owner or the manager, you want to leave it, especially if you haven't done it before, I said you want to leave it memorable. When people come here to eat and they hear wonderful music. Um, it leaves it memorable for them. And that's even a pretty big mark when they leave that restaurant or bar or whatever. It's just like, God, you know, I remember I had the time. And it, and it makes them think, they go, okay, yeah, I want these people to come back. I want business, right? So you're there to help them with their business, really simple really there's no secret to it but you know you guys that have been around for a while and been booking gigs you guys have your you have your own way and if it's working don't listen to me just do it keep doing what you're doing if it ain't broke don't fix it right so doing what you're doing but i think for the beginners the people have just gotten out and are just afraid to step over that threshold get out there and talk it's hard sometimes you know Especially if you're shy or you're not a real people person, you're kind of introverted. It's a hard thing to do. You got to go up there and sell yourself. But that's what I do. I make them, uh, for the most part, in some cases, I make them sound like, uh, you know, you're a turd bucket, dude. If you don't book me, you want to make it memorable for your people here. You know, you want them to walk out of this place and go, I just had an amazing meal and heard an amazing entertainer do some live music. That's what you want to do. Some of the states are mandating again. So if they're mandating masks in your area, your county or your country or your whatever, it's probably gonna be kind of hard to get a gig right now until this is all gone and behind us. So I understand that because I'm, I'm, I'm getting hit with it too. I just, it's like uh, I got this other guy that I booked with called Anoticas, which is also on the channel too. You can see some footage I booked there. And he's a good paying gig, and I could use the money right now, but it's just weird. It's uh, it's crazy right now. The times are really, uh, it sucks, really. So, but God willing, you know, we'll get over it and um, and start spreading the good news of live music. And uh, thank you guys again for everybody just leaving the wonderful comments. Oh my God, it's like humbles me. You guys rock. I've got some great musicians on here. Uh, matter of fact, I think this morning I just heard uh, one of the, uh, there's a gal that, uh, I believe her name is Jerry. Jerry, if you see this post, you rock, girl. Don't, don't stop. I think she's in Ireland. And don't stop what you're doing because her, her voice, your voice rocks. It, uh, 
you've got an amazing voice and uh, don't let it waste away man just keep pursuing and get that spread that beautiful voice out there because Ireland deserves it that's for sure uh, I just uh, it brings me so much joy when I hear you guys on there and thanking me like God you know it's just any you know just bits of, if you just take bits and pieces of what I say you know that might work in your situation whether it's in equipment or booking or song list or whatever and I think maybe next week I'll get into the song list uh, on the songs that I picked for my songs I have a I have probably like 150 songs maybe I don't think I have 200 but and then do I rehearse might do a thing uh, about rehearsing uh, do I rehearse? No, I don't really rehearse. <laughs> but I should. I just get so caught up with other things, and I'm like, oh, God. Uh, but, I, a matter of fact, I'm going to actually rehearse probably tomorrow, today, and maybe tomorrow. But anyway, so, you guys, that's what this is about, is just getting the courage and, and or, uh, stepping uh, for the beginners, uh, uh, breaking through that first door, and... Um, Get out there and, and, and let them know what you do and, and give them a chance. And also, too, I also want to bring up for the beginners also, if they've never heard you before, this doesn't even go for beginners. It could be veterans like me. You, you know, uh, if they're just they, they just not sure if they want it, you can't really close them on a date to have you come and perform. And, they don't, and for the most part, they don't know who the hell you are. So you got to keep that in mind so you once in a while you have to bite the bullet and do it maybe for nothing in tips I would say for the beginners but uh, people have been around it and doing this for a while maybe just say hey uh, if you're paying them 200 for a hundred dollars an hour 200 for two hours you say hey listen I'll do two hours for a hundred bucks or you know what I mean to give them a half price just so you can see it if you like what I do taken from there and uh, you know so there's you know there's no right way of booking a gig you just it's really just get your boots on the ground and hustle start knocking down doors and eventually something's going to hit so that's how that works but and again thank you for all the compliments and I think maybe at some point I'll show you my guitars that I have and what I use live it doesn't matter either, really. I mean, I don't know if you're interested in that, but it doesn't matter. As long as you've got six strings and it sounds good and you're in tune, it doesn't matter. Just get out there and play.